New at 10, tucked away in a small town, developers want to bring a big operation to DeKalb County. The town of Henniger could be home to a medical marijuana facility, but that's only if the Alabama Medical Cannabis Commission grants a license for an integrated facility. Late 31's Olivia Schuler sat in on a town hall meeting to learn more about the plan. In these doors behind me, residents of Hanninger were able to discuss with developers any concerns or questions they may have about bringing a medical marijuana plant to North Alabama. But majority of people that attended this town hall meeting more excited than hesitant about what the plant could offer for a rural area. It's just another um, step toward making Henninger a better place to live and work. I think it's a fantastic idea. For Lisa King, she lives on the road where the Henninger Industrial Park is located. But the close proximity to a potential medical marijuana plant doesn't bother her. The revenue that it would bring in, I think, would really help the town. Mm -hmm. uh, not only just from having it, the employees that they're going to have are going to want to also spend their money within the city limits. Majority of residents in agreement. More jobs will fuel growth in a rather rural area. It's, it's industry. It's jobs. Good paying jobs. 200 for this kind of an area is a huge, huge improvement. And RX Connections has the outline to show just how many jobs Henninger could see with the medical marijuana plant, starting from construction to full operation. Troy King, lawyer for RX Connections, says the positions will drive the economy and provide a competitive employment option. And we would like to allow people who right now have to maybe go across the state line or across the county line or go somewhere else and work to find good employment in your county. Annual investment starting at $18 million. The more people hired for the plant, the higher that number may climb. We're here because of what we see in the people here. We see people who are hardworking. We see people who are who are committed, who are honest, who have a good work ethic. In the Lisa King's one question raised at the town hall, the what will security will measures the look like? Park. There will be incredible security to track what's there, to secure the facility, to make sure that it can't leave without being accounted. The town hall, a way for ARC's connections to speak with residents directly, assuring them a medical marijuana plant will drive this small town to be a powerhouse for growth, jobs, and revenue. The question is, is your part of the state going to be part of producing medicines that are going to help people all over the state or not? According to Senate Bill 56, on September 1st, the company RX Connections can apply for an integrated facility license. It's unclear at this time how long it will take for the company to find out whether or not they've been granted that license. Reporting in DeKalb County, Olivia Schuler, Way 31 News. All right now, the legislation states on September 1st, also individuals will be able to apply for a license in an independent category like cultivator, processor, secure transporter, state testing lab, or dispensary.